<clears throat> uh, quick, quick question on page 90 of PDF when we're doing the Sambandha Vashya. Uh, I lost something. Abhadishu means what? Yeah, it is uh, what you should do is it is Abhadishu. Okay. Drishtam. Sorry. Abhadishu, not Abhadishu. Abhadishu. Ah, Abhadishu. Ah. Apu. That Abha is Apu. P, 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 the letter P, right? And so, uh, up Adish, up etc. Up stands for water. Oh. That up is up, that is up there. And not up, upper wala up nahi. So, this up there, Adi, Adi means etc., right? So, water, yeah. etc. So, yeah. in Saptani, is it? Saptani. So, his body, how did he start out? Ganda di naam, he said. Ekaika gunapa karshena. If you start removing one one guna from starting from Prithvi, then you'll end up with Abadish. You'll end up with Ap Agni and then Vayu. Vayu Akasha. That is the meaning here. You want the, so he took the Ganda out and then started from up onwards. Prithvi he okay. took out. That is the way to understand. Okay. Um, another question is, you know, the one we changed the Stulatwad, no, Stulatwad Vika, uh, uh, Stulatwad Vikaraha. So uh, I thought it was said Stulatwad Vikaraha, right? Or stula, because there it is no stula twadi vikaraha, right? No, it is stula twad vikaraha in the book in Gita Press. Oh. That's, that's what stula twad vikaraha. Vikara. Anand Giri in his commentary writes uses the word stula twadi karana. Ah, okay, I know, I know, I understood. But so it is adi. Correct. There it is stula twad. Oh. In the second, oh, Anand Giri's usage it is adi. Here there is no other. In Gita, no. press this one. Tulatvat Vikara. Is there the meaning is what? They are changing because of their grossness. Tulatvat, because of. That is the way it is. Nothing wrong with that word. But the Tulatvati Karana Bhutaha, Tulatvati Karanaha, is there, there, there it emphasizes the capacity to cause that grossness. And what, how do you split the yaddi? Sorry? Yaddi. Yat, hi. H -I, he. H-I, oh, he. Correct. Okay, okay. Because I lost the internet. So I lost a few minutes. Okay. Yaddi, he. Okay. Namari also you lose the internet, is it? I don't know. So, suddenly it went off. I don't know what it, then I had to reboot it. Yeah, so yad he, there's a sandhi at work there. It's a hal sandhi. Yad he. And it becomes yad he. The he gone. The hakara is completely gone. Huh. In that sandhi. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Jayo ho anyatarasyam. Those of you studying Panini. That is a rule that applies there. Hmm. Any other questions? Guruji, you said about uh, six uh, types of A usage. Oh. Alpha okay. from opposites mm. and all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I have it written. Uh, yes, yeah, go ahead, read it, please. Tat sadrishyam, tad anyatyam, tad alpam. Tad apasashyam viradhastham viradhastha. Okay, so let's read that now, okay? Uh, tat sadrishyam. Tat sadrishyam means the, the, the prefix can also mean similarity. Okay, tat sadrishyam. And then? Abhava. Tat anyatyam. Tad anyatyam. Tad anyatyam. Tadan, um, anyatva. 
ತದನ್ಯತ್ವ last time we wrote it uh, virodha yeah. where does virodha come anuradha ji virodha is the last one okay aprashastyam virodhascha yeah. correct aprashastyam virodhascha all right so, so that what be... is that aprasyam aprashastyam aprashastyam oh, aprasyam aprasyam ಅಪ್ರಾಶಸ್ತ್ಯಂ not a pro- inappropriateness okay correct yeah yeah that's what we wrote okay so uh, then virodha is one meaning virodha is opposite opposite entirely opposite ah uh, abhava abhava absence absence abhava. we get akrodha absence akrodha there is absence of krodha and opposite, then we have the uh, opposite, opposite asukam asukam if somebody says what is the meaning of asukam opposite will be it can be up, it can be opposite it can be absence there is no dukkha there is asukam yeah. i am not sad but i am not happy either oh see okay that person is trying to communicate something a different meaning asukam can mean dukkham opposite or it can be absence of sukham also okay i'm not sad here but you know what but you know what if they say that means it means it is just absence of sukham not opposite of sukham yeah and then that's it we've covered all six i think yeah we covered all six and, and the reason we said that the agyana is not agyana abhava because there cannot be anything we can say that again abhava so uh, what uh, anuradha ji is saying is agyanam is what what is the meaning of the word a uh, prefix a uh, there if we ask he is saying which of the six meanings we have to figure out huh? we did this exercise some time ago right we took some words yeah right so it we need not be obvious sometimes it's obvious but sometimes it need not be obvious and so agyanam can mean absence of knowledge or it can be the opposite of knowledge anyatvam or abhavaha and here abhavaha is not possible it is opposite of knowledge often when we say i don't know means that knowledge does not exist that is how we popularly understand but that's not vedantic understand it is opposite of knowledge that is why that knowledge can come which is opposite of agnana apnya agnana timirandasya jnananjana shalakaya chakshurun militam yena that which is non existent cannot be removed because non existent that which is existent only can be removed so jnananjana shalakaya chakshurun militam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha so yeah so that's the six meanings of the 
That prefix is called we, we forgot to say the tat abhavascha. Tat abhavascha, correct. Yeah. That's so, why we had five meaning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Aprashastyam tad abhavascha. Yeah. Uh, Nanyarthaha shat prakirtitaha. That's how it should end. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the way it goes is like this. Tat sadrishyam tad abhavascha. Tad anyatvam. Tad anyatvam Aprashastyam abhavascha. Correct, that's the order in which it comes. Now I'm getting it. So it's good. I mean, to good to keep these things in mind. So at least somewhere, oh, there are six minutes. At least the number six we will remember, you know. And then good. Any other question? So as you can see, we are uh, finishing this. Uh, you know, we have already compared to Bhagavad Gita. It's it's obviously cryptic. Right, much more cryptic. We have to rely on the Bashim. and uh, we must have covered almost a half. Yeah, I found I found the whole thing now. Mm -hmm. It says tad tad sadrishyam tad abhavascha tad anat anitvam the anyatyam tad alpata tad tad ap. Prashyatam, Aprashyatam, Virodascha, Nanjartha Sad Prakitirtha. Because Ramuji sent it to me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He, he wrote it and now he forgot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I keep all the notes here. Uh, he's, he's very good at copy paste, okay? Yeah. So. <laughs> copy paste. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I remember I wrote it, so I'm good. Sadrisham Tadanyatvam Virodascha Tadalpata Aprashastyam Abhavascha Nanjartha, Shat Prakitita, I think it's the same order. La Prashastim Virodaschen or Prashastim Virodaschen. So therefore, uh, next to them, it should go like this Tat Sadrishim, Tat Abhavaschen. Tadanyat Pum Tadalpata. A Prashastim Virodaschen, Nanjartha, Shat Prakitita. Yeah, that's how it should be. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Dhanvantaraye Amrita Kalasahastaya Sarvamaya Vinashanaya Trailokyanathaya Shri Mahavishna Venamaha Thank you.